Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox 2. My most popular video on this game is creating Earth in Universe Sandbox 2. And it's beautiful. I mean, I had a great thumbnail. I, I did some good work, but you know, uh, unfortunately, it's been so long that Universe Sandbox 2 has grown a lot. And while I'm not ready to do a project quite that large again, why don't we see if we can realistically create the moon? I I've tried it a few times before, but a lot of the physics and stuff have been overhauled, and with the new temperature systems and su surface grids, we can do some beautiful stuff. Um, so we're gonna get a random rocky planet to start, just something that has the correct materials for Earth, and perfect. Perfection. Okay, and we're gonna set it to about the size of the Earth. Now the Earth actually was a bit uh, less massive, but we're not we're not trying to get it perfect. I just I want to get the accretion disk right. I, I've been trying for a long time to get a really good one, and that accretion disk is when we hit with a grazing shot with another planet. It'll create uh, rings around the planet of material that gets ejected, like Saturn. And if we can pull that off, well, I'd be pretty happy. So uh, we're just gonna name this Young Earth because. Young Earth for our purposes, and we're gonna see if we can form a moon out of an accretionist. Now, I don't think it'll actually form a moon, but if we can even get a ring around it, that would be absolutely awesome. One of the things they're trying to add to uh, Universe Sandbox 2 right now is actually a uh, system where when something is hit, it turns into a fluid, and so it can kind of go through it and rip it apart into chunks. Um, that's gonna be insane. If Universe Sandbox will give me an early access to that, I will literally die. So maybe you shouldn't. Okay, so now Mars speed, we're gonna... Oh! Oh, that was really quite violent. Um, man, okay. Just spinning Earth like a top now. Look at it go! Oh, damn. A little bit too fast. A little bit too fast. Okay, I, I believe in us. We can do this. Okay, it needs to be slower. Honestly, it needs to be something with more mass, but like, slower. Which may not make much sense, but that's just... Okay, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Need to get a little bit further away from it. See, you don't want me as your god because I would accidentally cause a genocide at least 14 times before. Oh, you know what I can do? This might actually be pretty smart. We can simulate getting super close by decreasing the speed of the orbit like that, and then it'll sling around and... Oh, maybe we don't want it to hit Earth that close. But it already has the angular velocity of going around Earth, so if the particles get part of that velocity, then the chances are much, much higher that it'll go around Earth in a ring. Big brain moment. That's what I should have been doing. <laughs> hey, here we go. That, that's it. That, that's what I was missing. It needs to be swinging around Earth to start. We can't get that angular velocity to come from nowhere. Also, Earth... I want to make this a little bit easier, so we're going to zero velocity. You, here we go. This is it. This is the moment. Smack. Spin. 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 Oh. 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 Oh, I mean, we were closer that time, but no, no, not quite. Okay, I've, I've got my plan now, though. I know how we're going to do this. Let's do two Earths. Oh, where'd my controls go? There they are. Okay, so if we have one Earth and then we have another Earth, right? And we get them really damn close. And we... Oh, here we go. Oh! Oh, that was... Uh, I mean, the rush limit really ripped it apart there, but that was that was actually pretty damn close to what we want. <gasps> Did it happen? 
Oh, oh, are they orbiting? No. No, they aren't. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe I just can't do it. Maybe I'm incapable. <laughs> Okay, let's try again. We'll try with Venus. We're gonna get... Ah. The closer they are to each other, the faster they rotate, right? That, that's just simple. Simple facts. And then we need to slow it down just enough. Just enough. <laughs> just enough that it barely hits. Well, now it's just ripping Venus apart. That's not what we want. Okay, this is it. This is it. It's gonna hit. Oh, come on. Man, we just, like, clipped some skyscrapers off of Earth right there. Not actually, but I hope you can tell I'm joking. Wait, why is Earth moving? I th oh, I didn't position lock. I zero velocity it. Whoops. It's a big difference. This is it. This is the one. Okay, they're gonna collide. Yes, and then we don't want Venus to go into Earth. We want it. Ah, I'm gonna help. <laughs> I can I can ensure that this goes properly. We want it to be a grazing shot, just like this. Come on. Oh, I'm doing so much more damage than should happen by preventing this from going completely. Oh, wow, what a grazing shot. It's just barely hitting Earth. Okay, um, this is actually probably closer to, like, being realistic now, but at the same time, I'm having to horribly cheat. Okay, so that's, that is a lot. That was just a lot of collision. I don't... The problem is they're just all being eaten instantly and they don't have any velocity to them. Ugh. Where are you even going? This way, I see. Into Earth. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that's my fault. Okay, so we can't get the accretion disk in that way. So we're, we're just gonna say it's there. Simpler question, can we get larger objects to coalesce into one around Earth? Who knows? Honestly, these asteroids are way too small, so we're gonna try, like, medium-sized objects just to get the, uh, the basic tests down. Like, if I pause and I do this, what we want to see is if a bunch of material were ejected around Earth and just orbiting Earth in around the same orbit. So here's our accretion disk. If these would coalesce into like one single object, like how long is that going to take? Will it happen? Will they all respect each other's boundaries? Clearly not. We're, we are not seeing much boundary respect here. Wow, very rude. Do not eat your neighbor. That's illegal. Excuse me. Okay, well, I guess we don't have that one. <laughs> How many moons can Earth have? That is the question. Going on one. Do I hear 20? Uh, do I hear 21? Okay, so now that some of them have hit each other, their mass will increase, which will draw more into them. And hopefully that means... Oh, here we go. These two. There we are. Yummy. Will we end up with one? There's another collision. Oh, and another one. Wow! Earth is in a lot of trouble. This is creating a lot. A lot for Earth to deal with. All of this material is going to crash down on the... Star. Well, some of it will just form a ring. Like right here, that's just going to orbit forever, but... Oh, the orbits are just slowly getting wackier as they all interact with each other. It's kind of crazy how our moon has, like, such a nice orbit around Earth. We just have one moon, like... The moon really did clean up. All the material really kind of ended up in one place. Now, I know there's more material that just wasn't, but 
majority. Oh, wow, these two giant ones. Oh, they got so close. Honestly, the chances of that were really small. Yeah, look at that. We do have some winners who are taking out all of the losers. And their gravity is so strong, they, they can very easily pull the losers in. Look at that. Now, the issue is as Haumea here, uh, well, that's all of them. <laughs> as this largest one gains more and more mass, it falls closer to the Earth because there's more gravitational attraction. Um, so, hopefully it doesn't end up, like, on Earth's surface, but it's it's getting close. There's, there's a few, like this. There's only a few left. I'm actually really surprised how little time it took for it to... To all coalesce like that. I mean, there's some stuff, but compared to the amount we had to begin with, that uh, kind of just proves mathematically it's it's a lot more likely than you'd think for everything to ball up into one area. You know, at first it's like, how do you get that many things in one spot? But because they're attracted to each other, the chances just slowly goes up and up and up. And honestly, not that much stuff has hit Earth because these uh. Well, the moon here, we'll just name this moon now. Moon. The moon here sweeps up most of the material, so even though there are some things hitting Earth, it's not nearly as crazy as I thought it would be considered. Oh, never mind, that was a big one and a lot of stuff hitting Earth from that. Wow, that was it. That was the big one, and now there's just one left. Wow, that's insane. It did not take long at all. It's only been six days in the simulation. It took six days for all of those different objects to merge into one. You'd think one of them would have flown out a bit further or, well, one did, but more than one. You'd think more than one. Stop contradicting yourself, Spike. Wow. I'm actually really happy with how that turned out. I can't wait until they add that fluid simulation though because then you'll be able to do this from the thing I was doing in the beginning. Like that will be absolutely amazing. Large scale, realistic collisions. Oh, 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 it really flung that one. That, that got flung very far. I was hoping that we'd have some sort of so, how this is happening, why it's modifying their orbit, is when the moon's on this side, it's getting pulled stronger in this direction. When the moon's on this side, it's pulled less. Um, it's a tiny difference, but all of these tiny differences do really add up. I'm, I'm still really surprised that the Earth hasn't been absolutely murdered. Um, a lot could have went wrong. <laughs> Huh, is, is this the end? Ooh, the moon ate another one. This is definitely getting closer. Let's look at its... Uh, if we look at its motion, the orbit, what we want to see is the apocenter. Not the distance, but the total. Radio velocity, that's not what I want to know. I want to know how quickly its orbit is slowing down. Excuse me. Man, the orbital period does go up and down quite quickly, doesn't it? Look at that. It's changing so fast. But that's, that's basically what we want to see. And we want to see the... Uh, the speed dropping. The speed dropping means that it will at some point collide, but it looks like in this in this situation we ended up with two moons. This one just got flung away. So in real life we got one moon and I said, well that's crazy. What are the chances that everything formed into one? Pretty good I guess. And obviously this eventually will hit the moon, but it's stabilized very, very far. Although, that just got a little while. Oh! Oh, this is it. It's getting so close now to the main moon that it it's starting to get flung when it gets close. Is this it? Are we going to end up with one?
Oh, it didn't get flung quite as far. It all depends on how close the moon is to it. Like, if it's super close, so this time it's for on the far side, so not much is going to happen. But when it's close, you can really see a difference, and it's like a 50-50 chance, so if we come back around again... Ooh. Oh, I think this is going to be a close one. It's going to go around again. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, they didn't get close. Closer. Not quite close. But did you see how the orbit shifted up a tiny, tiny bit? And now each time it goes around, I think this is going to be it. And don't forget the Earth is moving a little bit right now as well. Which adds a little bit more the mix what happened to the moon oh I'm just very zoomed it looks much smaller than it was before oh it must have been the heat did it eject a lot of material like what happened damn that really shrunk Whew. I don't think it has enough mass anymore to mess with it I think that may be it. I think we may just be stuck with two moons now. And that's pretty cool. I mean, it's more than one moon. Yeah. Yeah, this looks pretty stable, honestly. I am impressed, though. I I, I want to know what happened to this. I, I feel like it was the temperature. Yeah, I feel like it vaporized a little bit. Did Earth gain or lose mass during this? I'm going to assume it gained. Yeah. It, it didn't even have any noticeable difference. Oh my god. Look at all the marks on Earth from all of the different material that hit it during that. Wow. It created a ton of mountains. <laughs> a ton of craters all over the place. Okay. It's time to end it. And as always, thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. Thank you to my patrons. You guys are really making sure that during this whole epidemic, I'm able to make rant, and that's that's important to me. 20-something um, of you now are supporting me and doing a great job and keeping my content uh, created on a timely manner and also happy and fun and... Oh, I killed everyone. Well, you're regretting that donation now, aren't you? We oh well now it's gonna create nice rings, huh? Wow! After all that, <sighs> it's hard being the Lord of the Universe sometimes.